Hey everyone, King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install the clean gingerbread ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G, clean GB ROM to be exact. You will need to be rooted and have Clockwork Mod installed on your Epic. I do recommend being in Clockwork Mod version 5.0.2.7 if you haven't upgraded. I will post a link to that video in the description of this one in case you want to upgrade. It will work for Clockwork Mod 3 as well as ACS Recovery. But we're gonna, once you are rooted and have Clockwork Mod, click on the link in the description of the video. It takes you to this site right here. Huge, huge thanks to Toad Life for this ROM. As you can see right there, Toad Life. Uh, he did a nice job with it. I've heard very good things about it being stable and quick, so definitely a nice ROM. Good job. Thanks, Toad Life, for this. As you can see, uh, Clean GB right there. Clean GB is the name of the ROM. Gives you some information about the ROM. Just scroll down. Keep scrolling down. You got download links right there. Full version, just click on that right there. Clean GB Build 16. That's the latest download. So click on that download link. You actually have optional options as well. You've got no uh, SMS messages and call logs if you want that. You have TouchWiz Launcher if you like TouchWiz as well as TouchWiz Widgets. So, but otherwise you're obviously going to need to make sure you only have the ROM or if you want your modifications you can have those as well. Uh, but anyways, as you can see, clean gingerbread build 16.zip. Make sure you get that zip file onto your SD card and once that's on your SD card you're good to go. You can go back to your Epic. So go ahead and go back to your Epic and you're actually just going to need to go back into Clockwork Mod. So to do so, if you have Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7, just go to ROM Manager, and then, whoops, I'm going to run through this, and I'm just going to hit Reboot into Recovery, and hit Yes. So it's going to go ahead and boot me back into Clockwork Mod Recovery. If you uh, base, if you have any other version and want to do it manually, volume down, camera button, power button, all at the same time, press and hold, should boot you into Clockwork Mod. I believe it gives a loading screen just like this, so don't be, don't worry if it gives you this, and then it should go into Clockwork. So, as you can see, I am on the latest Clockwork Mod Recovery 5.0.2.7. Uh, so once you have that zip file on your SD card, you're good to go. Actually, this with this ROM, you do have to wipe your data, so I do recommend making an Android backup in the Backups and Restore option, and make sure you backup all your apps, contacts, etc., because this will wipe your data. But anyways, just go to Wipe Data Factory Reset, hit Yes, delete all user data. It's going to go ahead and wipe that. Then go to Wipe Cache Partitions and hit Yes. Should wipe the cache, then go to the Advanced Menu and Wipe Dalvik Cache. And yes, Wipe Dalvik Cache. Once all three of those are wiped, hit the back arrow. Go back. And then just hit Install Zip from SD Card. Choose Zip from SD Card. And navigate to wherever that clean GB zip is onto your SD card and go ahead and install it. So I'm going to go ahead and go through all these files. Clean GB build 16 zip. Yes, install. So it's going to go ahead and install the ROM for me. Might take a little while so please be patient with it. And once it's done installing, I'll go ahead and reboot the phone. Alright, so as you can see the ROM's done installing. Install from SD card complete. Just hit the back arrow, go back, and then just hit reboot system now. So go ahead and reboot your phone should boot back up and once it boots back up you're good to go you will be running the clean gingerbread ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G I will be doing a separate review video so stay tuned for that link to that is in the description of the video so definitely be sure to watch that review video I'll be doing a full review going over features of this ROM and why it is so stable as well so stay tuned for that if you do have any questions have any problems when installing this ROM please ask I will be happy to help you guys out and as you can see, here is the basically the boot animation. Just a quick clean GB right over there. Very cool, just nice and simple. Otherwise, be sure to subscribe for future videos and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Links are in the description of the video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and thanks for watching.